Hey everybody, it's Jay. Welcome to the channel. Um, in this video, I'm going to do a short Photoshop tutorial that will allow you to add a reflection to an image. It makes a photo like this look something like this. Uh, pretty cool technique and very easy. This is going to take me, I think, about three minutes. So I'm actually going to start my timer and see how I do. Um, first thing you want to do is make a copy of the background layer. Uh, to do that, if you're on a Mac, the quickest thing is just Command J. So I got that background copy. Next thing is I want to select what I want to reflect. In this case, it's going to be you know the sky and the buildings. So I can use the rect rectangular marquee tool and just make a selection. It is really helpful, by the way, if your horizon line or whatever line that separates your reflection from your subject uh, is level. In this case, it is. So I made that selection. I then go up to Edit, Transform, and then down to Flip Vertical. And that just takes that selection, flips it upside down. Um, now I can drag it down, and I want to meet right where in this case, the building meets the water. Um, and so you can see, hey, there's a reflection. Pretty good. There's a couple of things we have to do to make it a little bit more realistic. The first is that reflections generally are not exactly the same shape as what you see above. They're a little elongated. So we want to stretch this down a little bit. So let's go up to, we have still this uh, the reflection selected. So let's go up to Edit, Free Transform, now we want to pull this down. If we just start pulling it down, that whole selection gets bigger on all sides. So you can't just do that. I'm going to hit Command Z to undo it. If you hit the Command button on a Mac and then pull down, it will allow you to elongate it without it spilling over on the sides. That's what you want to do. And by the way, when you start this process, it's good to have more room below uh, so you have room to stretch this down. Sometimes you have to add to the canvas to do that. In this case, I shot it in such a way that I had more room down to uh, to pull that down. I'm going to hit Done. Uh, already looking pretty good. The next thing is that typically the uh, you're not going to get a perfect, perfect reflection, right? There's going to be some blur or some movement there. And so since I have that water selected, I'm going to go up to Filter. I'm going to go to Blur, and I like to use Motion Blur. And I like to have a kind of a 90 degree motion blur, so it's kind of up and down. And you can play with it, you know, to your liking. Uh, I don't want to have too much of a blur, but I want a little bit just to make it a little realistic. So in this case, 35 pixels. That works pretty well. The second thing is that I don't love it when you have a perfectly clean demarcation between you know the buildings and the water in this case. So I want to put a mask on there. I'm going to choose a, a brush, make it black. My foreground color is black. And I just want to, my flow is about 17%, but I want to take a little bit of the reflection away right along the edge of, the, um, of where, the, again, the water meets the buildings in this case. It adds a little bit of realism to it. If someone zoomed in, you know, to see that perfect distinction between the two is kind of weird. So I just do that. Next thing is uh, the reflection generally is going to be a little darker than the sky. So I want to darken that. Uh, so what I want to do is select the water again. I'm just going to get my marquee tool out again and select the water. I'll then go up to a curves adjustment layer and just pull down to darken that up a little bit. Uh, and that's really it. That took me actually three minutes and 54 seconds. So a little bit longer than three minutes. Um, hey, if you like this video, it does help the channel just to give me a like. And if you like the content that I put up here, you know, landscape, architecture, Photoshop tutorials, I'm doing photo critiques now. Uh, just make sure you follow the channel. Just give me a follow and uh, you don't miss future videos that way. And until next time, take care.